And this morning's Maryland Peace of Mind, Baltimore County Public Library is getting ready to roll out a free service providing a full-time social worker to help those in need. And joining us this morning live is the director of the Baltimore County Public Library, Sonia Alcantara Antoine. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning, Jennifer. Nice to see you. How did this idea come about? Well, this idea came about, uh, we weren't the first library system to have a, a social worker at the library. Um, this was actually originated out west in San Francisco, but since then, many libraries across the country have added social workers to, to the suite of services that they, they offer the community. This is what 21st century librarianship is about. It's about connecting people at their point of need with whatever resources that they need to be successful in school, work, and life, um, and so that they can thrive. And sometimes that means having a social worker available. And what services are going to be provided to folks? They're going to be available to provide free one-on-one -on -one advice and guidance to, to library customers and visitors, um, including uh, connecting them with resources and referrals to uh, domestic violence help or mental health counseling if they need assistance with getting food or access to housing. They're there to help the LGBTQ community. They're, help, they're there to help uh, seniors and teens. So anything you can think of uh, that's going to help people get a leg up in life and get help with some of the challenges that they need, that's what the social worker is there to help them with. And the Baltimore County Library has a bunch of different branches. Are you going to have a social worker in each branch? Eventually we will, but right now we're concentrating on the east side. So our social worker is going to be available at our Essex, our North Point, Perry Hall, Rosedale, Sollers Point, and White Marsh library locations. And is that one social worker for all of those branches or one social worker in all of those branches? We'll have one social worker for all of those branches. We have a schedule set up where she'll be staggering her visits and she'll be at all six of those locations at various times throughout the week. Oh, so it is just one social worker to handle all of those branches. So that, that's exactly. So that's why would appointments be really important then to be if you needed that service? Yes, uh, people can walk in uh, and just see the social worker. They don't necessarily have to make an appointment, but an appointment is, is helpful and it is advised. And so people can check out the hours where she's going to be at, at those various locations on our social media and also on our website. I can imagine the demand is going to be pretty high, especially considering the different types of things people have experienced during COVID. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're all seeing that. I think people are uh, stretched very thin right now and people are, are facing a whole sorts of challenges that uh, have, have really come to the fore with, with the pandemic. And so that's what the social worker is there to do, to help people navigate these challenging times and to get through and, and to succeed and to thrive. And it, speaking of the library, I know people are really excited to be able to get back in. It, it's no longer just curbside now in Baltimore County. You can go in and look for a book. Absolutely. We have been open to the public fully since mid-May, and people can come back to the library like they did before and check out all the resources and the services that we had. We're still offering curbside pickup because we are still in the middle of a pandemic, and so some folks might feel a little nervous about coming back inside to a public facility, and so we do offer that as a convenient way for them to access library services, but you can still walk into a branch like you would pre-pandemic and still experience all that we have to offer. All right, and Sonia, if someone wants to learn more about this social worker program within the library, who should they contact? They can just check out our website, bcpl.info, to find out all the information about the social worker program and schedule an appointment to see her. All right, very valuable resource. Thanks for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.